Start recording. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Lovely sunny day here in Crowborough. What about where you are? Come on in, it's Friday. T-G-I-F. Yes, it is. Have you got your tea? You rock. Come on in, we're early to the party. It's always good to be early. Get a front seat. Ah, nectar. Lipstick. <laughs> How are you anyway? Hey, come on in. Good morning. Hello, Sue. Hello, Anne. Come on in, grab a seat. We're on the two, 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 two cans today. If you can, two can. Come on. Who can? You can. I love the two cans. They're just bright and friendly and funny and uh, crazy. Apparently they make good pets. You'd have to have a hell of a cage for that beat, wouldn't you? Hey? And we've got a little miniature Konya. He's, um, he's turned the corner, believe it or not. I thought he was on the way out. He was looking really poorly at the beginning of the week. But he's got his little feisty beak back on again. He can draw blood, I'll tell you. I often say to him, if you weren't so savage, we could be best friends. But if you if you touch him, he will he locks in and that's it then. Yeah. So guess what? You don't touch him. You smile at him, you chat to him, you sing with him. Just don't touch. Look but don't touch. Come on in then. Good morning from Peter. Yeah, it's sunny at the moment, Sheila. I know. Lovely. So there we go. And today we're on the two, 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 two cans. I love them. And, um, and I've been thinking that next week we'll stick with the two cans. We'll do the background. Today we'll complete the birds. And then next week, let's look at that beautiful background. There's a lot in there, you know. There's a lot in there. Lots of lovely colouring. And um, yeah, I've got some... I've already got some good ideas for the week after for our doodle doodling session. I'm really looking forward to that as well. I think you will enjoy it too. I think you will enjoy it too, what we've got lined up. Little heads up, actually. A little heads up. If you've got a Posca pen, when I mean Posca, because we're going to, what I thought would be really nice would be to do some white doodling, you know, the Christmas coming up and that. We've done all, everything that we do is black on white, black on white, black on white. And I thought, well, what about if we do white on black and white on craft, you know, and we go the other way. So we mix it up a little bit. And so we've been battling for these pens because they're like hen's teeth. We finally got them in the building. Um, there are two different ones. Okay, here they are. Heads up, Posca pens. The fat one and the thin one. And they're loading them on the website. They finally arrived, right? And if you haven't got them, these are brilliant. They really are. They're, pen, they're paint pens. Um, but there's, this white is like nothing I've ever seen before. And we've got the fat one. We've had that for a little while, but now we've got the thin one. So I want to use these, not next week, but the week after. If you've got them, happy days. If you haven't, we have now. Good price. I know, a bit silly telly, but I, if I'm going to use them and then we start on the Monday, you'll go, oh, that's Andy. So I've spoken to the guys at work and, I, and they've said that we'll pull these orders to the front. If anybody orders these, we'll pull them straight to the front. So they'll be on the Clarity website. Yep. There you go. Little heads up. A lot's going on at the moment. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Last day of the sale as well today. Last day of the sale on the Pergamano website. Do you remember that one? Not that one. Yeah. So on the Pergamano, last day, midnight tonight. That'll do. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's definitely going to stop at midnight tonight. Um, and other than that, we've got some really exciting news coming on Sunday. I'll tell you later. Nothing to do with business. Nothing to do with business. It's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, as as the days are creeping up towards Sunday, I'm I'm turning into a child. 
I'll tell you when we, when we crack on here, it's cool. It's really becoming real now. I haven't said anything before now because I, I, I you know, it might change. It might, maybe it was going to change. Maybe somebody was going to change their mind and then, or something would get in the way. And then I thought, well, I don't want to, I don't want to get everybody all fired up and say things and then it will go, you know, so, so that'll be cool. Now, what's the time? It's 10 o'clock. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Come on in. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. So today we're on the two cans. We're colouring in. They're from the postcards um, and they're, they're really cool. And, you know, we, we hang out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, don't we, at 10 o'clock. And we sometimes we doodle, sometimes we colour in. We, it rolls into the weeks. It doesn't really matter what we do as long as we do something cool. That's what I think. As long as we do something, something fun and something different. You're going to learn a little bit along the way. Um, we keep each other company. We keep each other sane. It focuses the mind. It gives you something to do if you're a little bit rudderless. Yeah, especially now Wales on lockdown. <sighs> Manchester. You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, it will be all right. It will be all right. Let's get going and we can chat as we're, as we're colouring. So what I wanted to do today, I wanted to look, look, I, I look again, uh, what a difference. Look, he looks like a bit of an albino up there. Um, but I'm pouncing between the two here. So what I wanted to do today was look at these wings Look at the wings and look at the tail feathers. So, so the plan, if there is such a thing, without putting pressure on anybody, right? The plan is that today we're going to complete the bird so that you can complete both birds. But I mean, it doesn't matter. You can do the background before you do the bird. It's, you know, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. But um, what I want to do is look at this lovely blue. Let's have a look a little bit closer. Let's check it out. It's only what I've, I've come up with. Let's have a little look. So if you look closely, you'll see. So it looks a little bit ridgy when you get close, doesn't it? I like that. So the, the, the dots again, a little bit stipply. And then in the tail feather, it's like what we did with the owl. You can see the, the feathers in there as well. Little splash of blue, blue, black, just for a little bit of interest. I thought that would be nice. I haven't done the, I haven't done the bit underneath the branch yet. But that's because we're peddling like loonies at the moment at Clarity. But it'd be all right. It'd be all right. Happy days. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we're busy. I am really grateful that we're busy, you know, as a business person. It's uh, so sad to watch what's going on with a lot of companies and a lot of businesses, you know. So we have to be grateful for every day, really. It's all right. It's OK. It's fine. We have a great community. We're a great online business. You know, it'd be all right. Just got to just keep pedaling. Um, so what I wanted to say as well is Stuart's in the building with you today. Lovely Stuart. And he will be able to direct you if you have any questions. He will show you where the Posca pens are if you're interested. They're not going to go away. Um, they did take a while to find. <sighs> <laughs> but there you are it is you know good old Paul he was like a coy he's tenacious he's like a pit bull he, he got his teeth into these pens he said I'm not letting go till I find them I said keep going it's been weeks weeks right come on let's get these tail feathers sorted out and these wings we need the black and we need a blue now if you're using the pergo liners are you ready to rock and roll I'll, I'll pull in a bit in a minute. If you're using the Perga liners, half price on the sale, just saying, right, blue, the light blue one and the black one, that one, that one there. You've got a beautiful light blue and black. I actually reach for this light blue because it's a little bit lighter than the polychromo one. I might grab that one just because I can. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. These are great. B pencils, aqua pencils. Right, polychromos. Okay, so let's have a look. I might just sharpen that while we're getting going. See, slowly does it. 
when you sharpen just go slowly give the wood a chance to cut i think often the pens they get they you go so fast look just go slowly slowly and you'll get a great you'll get a great nib um, if you go too fast, the wood rips. I, I know when I'm when I'm racing, I forget, and I, all of a sudden I can hear it go, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> right, okie dokie. So we're I'm going to jump to this one now. Don't worry about what I've done in here. I tell you why I've done that. It looks a bit weird. I know I'm working on an effect <laughs> because I looked at the real deal and I love the moss and the lichen on this trunk. I thought, I wonder if we can emulate that. I wonder if we can do that. So I'm having a little go, but it's not, you know, it's not over till it's finished. Have a little look and you'll see what I'm trying to do. I'm getting there, but I, I'm not. Yeah, the jury's out. I'm still working on it. I'll figure it out. And then on Monday, if you come in on Monday and it's a brown trunk, you know, no, that didn't that didn't go so well. All right. And then it'll be like, all hail to the eraser pencil. Lichen and moss be gone. <laughs> I think what's key, and, and we've been doing this for so many months now, but what is very, very important is to not sweat the small stuff, not get hung up. This is, we're not striving for perfection here, you know? We're just trying to uh, have some fun, improve our game. But if it's not perfect, that doesn't mean it's rubbish. So many of us, we think, if it's not perfect, then it's in the bin. That's not the way forward. The way forward is to try your best and then be happy with what you've got, you know? There are no judges in here. Do you remember, we always said that, didn't we? There are no judges. The, the toucan police aren't in the building. Nobody's gonna come along and say, well, I don't look like a toucan. I'm telling you now, you could do that. You could do that in any color you like and people would recognize that as a toucan. <laughs> in fact, there are lots of different colored toucans. I mean, black is predominant, but when you look them up, they don't all have beaks like that. A lot of them just have bright orange beaks, don't they? Mm. We just went with a really funky one. Right, you ready? Right, come on. Sip a tea and then we'll get going, shall we? Everybody happy? Marion's got to make a cuppa. Yeah, good for you. Slow down, okay? Don't let me get you fired up just because I'm running at about 150 miles an hour. Okay, I'm gonna take it back a bit as well. Calm down, slow down. Calm down, slow down. When I start coloring, I'll automatically calm down and slow down. So, let's have a look. First, I need my right glasses. Well, that's the first thing. Oh yeah, that's good. If it's Friday, Stuart, Lovely Stuart. Does that mean that there's a digi download? Does that mean that there's a groovy digital download at 12 o'clock or because of the sale of We Abandon That this week? Let me know. And if it is, then perhaps we can, we can put the link up, can't we, for our, for our groovy friends. Right, let me just come in a bit tighter. Just a minute, let me see if I can reach up. Yes, of course I can. Being tall has its advantages. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go for this little fella here. We're gonna use this one here. So I can pop that. Let me see, I'm a lefty. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Are you lefty or a righty? I'm definitely left-handed. Somebody once gave me a pair of left-handed scissors. I couldn't use them. They thought they were doing me a favor. It was absolutely laughable. I cannot use a left-handed potato peeler either. Can you, if you're a lefty? You see, I think what happens is we, we get so used to using, let's put the blue in here. We get so used to using right-handed things. Can you believe that you can get left-handed cups as well? What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know, I, got, I guess. This is a left-handed cup, then you rock. If it's a right-handed cup, then I rock. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, if the handle's on the inside, we'd have an issue, wouldn't we? 
There you go. So it's a left-handed cup, a new rock. <laughs> when we lived in um, California, there was a, uh, a shop it's still there, I think. In fact, it was there last time I looked on Pier 39 in San Francisco. Pier 39's changed. Crikey. What a commercial nightmare that is now. It's like a, it's like a shopping mall now. It used to be a lot more, a uh, lot less busy. There you go. There's the word. Um, but there was always a shop, for the left-handed shop. And as I recall, it was still there last time. And you could buy anything for for left-handed people, like left-handed can opener, left-handed, left-handed um, potato peeler, left-handed scissors. It was quite yeah, it's a gimmick, if you like. Because I think when you're left-handed, you just adapt. I think adapting is the word, isn't it? You know. And I think a lot of a lot of left-handed people of a certain age, they were forced to write with their. They were actually forced to write with their right hands because whoever decided, I don't know, that it was it was wrong to write with your with your left hand. I mean, who thought that up? Stupid. My mum, she she was German mum. I mean, they didn't muck about. They tied her hand. She's left-handed, but now she writes with the right hand. They tied her hand to the back of the chair. I mean, good grief, people. Humans are idiots sometimes, aren't they? Well, that was a bit strong, Gray. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it is, though, isn't it? I mean, for crying out loud. I'd be glad if a kid could write. I won't start... You know what I mean? I'd be more concerned about the spelling, not what hand they're using. Crying out loud. Yeah. Right, lovely little blue lines through here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's true, though. Well, it is in my head. God. I'm worried about what hand they're using. My mum, she told me that when I was a, when I was a little girl, when I first started draw, draw writing, hang on, let me just get this right. So now we're coming down through here, and my, I'm saying, I'm thinking, there, that's the blue one. And so I used to sit in the kitchen when we lived in Aylesbury. I may have told you this already. And because I was left-handed. I was always a bit weird, I suppose, but because I was left-handed, what I used to do, hang on, let me just get this right. So it's that one down the front there again, like a bit of, or not, I don't know, this one here now. Don't get caught up on it. Just put some blue somewhere, every other one. Um, so when I used to sit in the kitchen and write at the kitchen table, Weirdly enough, and I don't know whether well, this is right, this is me left handed. I used to write backwards. So I used to write, instead of writing from left to right, I'd write from right to left. <sighs> Work that out, right? So I can write backwards quite well. I still can. However, my mum, bless her, she, she knew that that wasn't going to serve me very well in life. So she said to me, Darling, you ride from the sink to the door. You always, oh no, was it from the, from the sink to the cupboard? She said, you ride from the sink to the cupboard. You ride from the sink, the kitchen sink, to the cupboard. So I always sat and wrote from the sink to the cupboard and it worked quite well. Until the first day at school, when I came home all distressed, she said, what is wrong? And I said, there was no sink and there was no cupboard. <laughs> Kids. So, yeah. It's always right from the sink to the cupboard. There you go. There. 
So you've got your blue stripes. He's looking a little bit Chelsea. <laughs> He's looking a little bit Gillingham. <laughs> These are football teams for our, um, for our American friends. The blue and white. <laughs> right, okay. What's black and blue? That sounds like the start of a joke. I mean, what football teams are black and blue? I don't know. I'm not a football person. Right, now we've done the, we've done the bl bl blue. Let's do the black. Let's just get real a light, a light layer again. Okay? You're happy to do this. Come on. Doesn't matter what you do, as long as you're hanging out here in the shack shack. Safe, happy and creative, stay home and craft. Hey? Right, nice undercoat there. Well, let's do the undercoat first, come on. So you're just getting on that. There we go. Everybody happy? Right. I like doing this. Oh, you could do what you like. You could colour this in any way you like. I just thought this would be, it brightened up a little bit, otherwise it is a little bit. This was all solid black, <sighs> be a bit heavy, hey? There you go. Right. Right, shall I tell you my secret? Yeah, okay, ready? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so many of you, well, maybe not, I don't know, different worlds, I suppose, parallel worlds. But if you're on, if you're, you must know Gina, Gina B. She's the button lady. She does phenomenal button work, really beautiful. And she's a friend, her and her husband. We've known them for years since we were on Create and Craft together. And, um, and Gina's just, she's a friend of, of mine. I, I, I think she's fabulous, very talented. And she does those embroidery buttons, just really nice, okay? And um, anyway, so Gina, she and I are friends. And, and in the summer, she got these, I was following it on Facebook, and I knew that it was happening. She, there was a cat in her garden. Um, how's that going? Yeah, keep your eye on that one. There you go. So we're just going to put an undercoat, like just on here, like this. So there was a cat in her garden. And um, obviously a feral cat. Didn't know where it lived. Got pregnant had kittens in Gina's garden. There were four kittens. And Gina was keeping a close eye on this because she's just a very kind person. So she was keeping a very close eye. Her and her husband were keeping a good eye on these little kittens, hoping to help. Well, then the mother, she shot off. She ran away and she took two of the kittens and left two. Oh, no. She did. So Gina took the two little kittens in, but, but she can't keep them because she's got animals of her own. So, so there was a worry there for a little while. These two little kittens, these little orphans, there was a fear that they might get split up because people only wanted one, didn't want two. And she was, so Gina was a little bit anxious about the fact that perhaps she'd have to split these two little boys up. They're two little ginger boys, just amazing. Right. So I spoke to Dave, because I really do, I do miss Romeo and Juliet. We had two little black hats, but they went to Rainbow Bridge years ago. Um, so I said to Dave, what do you think? He said, all right then, all right. So I, ra I reached out to Gina and I said, um, we would, we would like to give these two little boys um, a good home, if that's okay with you. And she said yes. And so 
on Sunday, we're going to go and get them. Oh, no! They're in Grantham. They're up north. So Sunday early doors. We're going up to Grantham. Oh, it's, it's the, the, the excitement's mounting now. I rang the vet this morning, the old vet. He's lovely, the Spanish fella in Forest Road. So I rang him and I said, oh, we've got a pair of little kittens coming. He was very happy to hear that. He likes ginger cats too. So, um, so yeah, exciting days, the Vikings. Now, the reason you're gonna say, well, what are their names? Okay, well, they already have names. What are we going to call them? They already have been given a name. And, and I don't need to add my stamp to that, you know. Um, Gina and Mark have already given them phenomenal names. And so we're going to stick with the names that they've given them. And they're such lovely names. Okay, I think so. Uh, <laughs> it's quite comical, really. Right, I, indulge me, humour me here. Do you want to see a picture of them? Let me show you a picture. What's fabulous is that Jean has been giving us, um, she's been giving us uh, like a running commentary. Right, you ready? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Wait. Right, here we go. Here, hang on. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, okay. Let me come to this picture. Let me, I'm sorry if you think, well, what's this got to do with the Shack Shack? Let me show you. So this is Eric, look, oh, Eric the Red, okay, and then we've got, hang on a minute, we've got, look at Eric, oh, come on, oh, aren't you in love? Right, so that's Eric, and then wait till you see, Ra and this is Ragnar, Ragnar, hold on, let him focus, Ragnar, behave. Ragnar, you're not behaving. Come on. There he is. There. Ragnar Lothbrook. Look, another little Viking. Oh. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Hey. Ragnar and Eric. Yeah, so there you go. All very excited here at, uh, at our house. Yeah, it's been a while since we had animals, apart from the little bird. That'd be right. The parrot will rule the roost, I know that. He'll put Ragnar and Lofbrook, Ragnar and, and Eric in their place. I know that. <laughs> he's, he's, um, he's outlived two Labradors and two cats so far. Yeah, he's about 27 years old. <laughs> right. So there you go. Two little kittens have lost their mittens and don't know where to find them. And they're coming down to the south of England. Hey, the Vikings are going to land on Sunday. Isn't that fabulous? Well, it is. It is. They've got, they're coming to a good home. Dave's brilliant with animals and I'm not bad. So... <laughs> well, it's funny. So I've, <laughs> so I bought this <laughs> cat litter. It's a, <laughs> you know like a litter, litter tray. I bought this great big thing. Honestly, you could rent it out. You could, you could. It's like the size of a small, small flat. This thing, right? It's a self-cleaning litter tray. When I, when the box arrived yesterday, it's huge, right? Dave said, so "What's this?" I said, remember, Dave's a farmer, right? <laughs> so this, <laughs> he's like, are you, are you serious? Yeah. Can you imagine trying to tell a farmer that you've spent 40 quid on a self-cleaning litter tray? <laughs> he said, right. Okay. Um, I said, well, yeah, it looks really good in the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So anyway, I had to clear out the back kitchen to make room for it because it's bloody huge. <laughs> oh, the back 
kitchen for the laundry is no longer it's a little it's a little <laughs> it's it's the house for the self-cleaning litter tray at this stage <laughs> <laughs> oh they're gonna get sport rotten these two yeah so there you go there's our good news and it is good news it's happy news you know it's happy news <sighs> Eric and Ragnar and I'm I will forever be grateful to Gina and our mark so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the um, I'm gonna make the house kitten safe tomorrow <laughs> it's all right we've been there before we know what we need to do right so what I'm doing here is I'm keep coming from this end right and what that will do is if you look here you see I'm turning it upside down really really black up the top but then lighter as you get down towards it I just sort of make it more interesting right it's a good skill to learn right so flick flick in there we go and it gets it's darker at the top there you go There. There we go. So we're just going to kick in there. Press a bit harder. We're going to use those blending pens in a minute. That will help. You watch. So we've got our depth going in here. What glasses have I got on? Do you reckon that I need a... I think I need help. <laughs> Let me come to this camera and then I'll be able to get in a bit closer. Yeah, that's what I need. I need to get my head in closer. Look. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Flick, 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 flick. There you are. So just nice flick feathery strokes and it gets lighter towards the bottom, see? And darker every time you go over that edge. It's just layering, isn't it? Layers on layers. There we are. Do you like cats? Yes or no? Have you got cats? Yes or no? Have you got a cat? When I was a kid, so my mum doesn't like cats. My mum is not a cat fan. But I told her, I was a bit apprehensive about telling her that we were getting kittens because I thought, oh, she's going she's gonna to disapprove. And even at 61, you don't want your mum's disapproval, do you? And when I told her, I said, oh, we're going up to Grantham on, uh, on Sunday because we're adopting a couple of kittens. And she heard kids. <laughs> She had kids. She went, you what? I said, what? Only kittens, mum. And she went, oh, I heard kids. She thought we were going to adopt a couple of children. It's like, it's not that straightforward, mum. You can't just pop up to Grantham and pick up a couple of children. That's quite a long, windy process. So I think she was so relieved that we weren't adopting children. <laughs> She was quite. She she took the she took the kittens in in full, and when I said they were, I laid it on a bit thick, and I said that they were orphans and they'd been abandoned and that, and she fell for it. So so that's good. <laughs> I pulled the I played the pity card and it worked. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But my mum, she's never liked cats. She's never been a fan of cats, and so when I was a child, we never had we never had animals at, her, at her, the house. <sighs> That's fine, you know. My mum and dad are fantastic parents, but they didn't they never had animals. That was that. It was my mum really more than my dad. I hope my dad's quiet. He he didn't mind them. He's never minded cats or dogs, but he just never had them. Um, and so when we were children, we grew up with no cats and no dogs, and. Um, and so I, I, I've always been a little bit fearful around them. I was. I used to be quite fearful around animals because, because I wasn't used to them, that's all. 
And then when Grace and Mark were small, when they when we lived on the farm, I thought I I I didn't want them to have that that angst or that fear around animals that I I have or had. I've, I've, I'm still there though, you know. It's still not not fear, but um, very different to Grace and Mark. They're, so the first thing we did was get a cat. You see, so we got a cat. We got two, didn't we? We got Romeo and Juliet. So I thought, well, let's get cats. So the kids, Grace and Mark, when they were nippers, it was it was it was cool because they they grew up with with Romeo and Juliet. And then when we when we moved to the, the old farm in the middle of nowhere, we got Duchy, and she, Duchess is a Labrador, black lab. Oh, and I remember Mark. Oh, I've got to tell you this. So so we went to. Um, they always went to see their father in California every summer. Um, and they would be gone for the whole summer, the kids. That's fair enough. It's, it's, it is what it is. He, he, he was, you know, he, he wanted to see his children. And they used to go in the summer. So, um, but they would always go to California and spend the summer there. It's hard, isn't it, life? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Talk about charmed. So that was it. They, they'd, they'd, I'd be the mother that had to... I mean, do the, the school runs and, you know, homework and teach them to write from the left to the right. And then old Disneyland dad would kick in and um, they'd go to California every summer. Anyway, no resentment there, really. But anyway, so then they, they'd always come back the week before they were due to go back to school. And, um, and during the summer, just before they got back, we bought this tiny little Labrador, like, eight weeks old, little black. Now, a bit of backstory on this. The the cats, Romeo and Juliet, they were also black, like jet black, called Rabenschwarz. The only difference between Romeo and Juliet was that Juliet had a little tiny white bib under her, on her chest. She had a little tiny white bib, where a bib would be, right? But other than that, they were almost identical. When they were little, they were definitely, you couldn't tell them apart apart from this little white bib. Um, and their personalities were different, that's for sure. Anyway, so how are you getting on with your colouring? Is it working? It's easy, this, isn't it? Just flick, flick, just layering up the black. And if you go over a bit of the blue, don't sweat it. It's fine. Right. So we'll leave that. Okay. There you go. And Mark, my Mark, He's really super smart, like really a very clever boy, very clever boy, right? He's got lots of, lots of O levels and A levels and all sorts of things. And he's got a good degree and he just does, he's just a naturally, they both are, but he was academic, he was right on it. But sometimes he was so naive, it was, it was refreshing. You know how children are so, sometimes they, they're so naive, it's, it's wonderful. So this particular summer, hang on, so we're going to come in the tail now. Let's do the tail, shall we? Let's do a bit of tail. Well, while I'm telling the story, let's just stick to this bit because I can't concentrate. Right, so, so this particular summer, they came home and um, they didn't know about the puppy. They didn't know about the puppy. And Grace didn't, Mark certainly didn't. And, um, So they were standing at the, uh, the, the back door to the farm and, uh, and I said, oh, I've got a lovely surprise. I've got a big surprise for you. And um, so I said, who wants to hold their hands out? Who wants to hold their arms out? Mark said, I will, I will, I will. And Grace was there as well. And uh, I said, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, Mark. So he stood there. I said, put your arms out. So he put his arms out and I put the little puppy into his arms. He would have been about six, six years old, Mark. Grace would have been about eight. So I put, I put this little puppy into his arms, right? And I said, right, open your eyes. <laughs> and he opened his eyes and he said, he said, You've turned the kitten into a puppy. <laughs> and he meant it. He meant it. 
God, blimey, I wish I could. But he actually believed with all his heart that I had turned one of the cats into a puppy. <laughs> all those smarts. Grace looked at him as if to say, are you real? <laughs> Grace was always the, she was, yeah, maybe she was two years older, I don't know, but she always figured things out a little bit faster than Mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bless him. So, what we've got now is jet black here. What's the time? Oh, good. Okay, keeping an eye on the clock. Right, so now let's do the tail bit. Let's do the tail bit. Just getting rid of the dust, the excess. We can put a little bit of, I know that I don't, I'm not, I'm deliberately, in a minute we're going to go like that, right? We're going to do a little bit of that again. But we don't have to do that right now. We can we can come back to that. Just adds a little bit of pressure. It adds a little bit of texture, doesn't it? Yeah. You've turned him into a puppy. Huh. Bless him. Oh, wow. Right. So. I've caught myself here. I just, I miss the kids. Sorry. I caught myself talking about the children. Shouldn't do it. I catch myself. I haven't seen Mark for a, for at least since last when we were in Hawaii. So what's that? One and one and a half years or something now? Nearly. It's a long time, isn't it? I think I saw Grace at Christmas. It's just a long time, you know. <laughs> Damn. Yes, it's a long time to not see your children, isn't it? Hang on, let me just get myself together here. Sorry about this. Oh, damn. It happens. It just catches you when you're not aware. You know, when you're not on your guard. Hang on, let's think something happy. Kittens, let's think about the kittens. That will cheer me up. Kittens, Eric, Ragnar, coming soon. Yes. Right. Okay. You've got to kind of see what you're doing when you're doing this jazz, haven't you? Right. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to put a little bit of, um, just a little bit of black along here. There you go. So we need a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, chisel there we are okay and that way you can get in can't you on the and then if you turn the chisel round you can get right up like that there you go sorry about that okay it's just the way it is It's not getting better. Right, come on. See, if you were here, it'd be different because then we could have a good old banter and it'd go away. God, I tell you what, I am going blimmin' mad in here. Right, come on. Sorry about this. So what we're going to do now is just do a really light, like down to the feather, just down to the bottom, like that, the tail feathers. Come on. I do apologise. Just didn't see that one coming. Okay, here we are. There you go. So what are you doing this weekend? Have you got anything lined up? Hey?
I'm going up to Grantham early month on Sunday. I'm going up to Grantham to pick up two beautiful little ginger kittens called Ragnar and Eric. Aren't I lucky? Hey, aren't I lucky? Aren't they lucky? <laughs> I'll tell you what. They've got the biggest toilet in Britain. <laughs> Apart from the garden. Yeah, they'll be fine here. They'll be fine here. We'll keep them indoors for a while, for sure. Hmm? Yeah, we will. There you go. So you've got a kind of a light, like a just a, a real shade, like just an undercoat, a little bit of white, a little flick of grey. Well, it's not grey, it's black, isn't it? But I've just... Just added a little bit of black. There you go. Just in the in the pleats, if you like, or where the feathers. Just get in there like that. Look. Let's just add that one's underneath that one, so we can do that, can't we? Are you working along with me, or are you just sitting there watching? Huh? Either way is fine, as long as you hang out with me. Come on, virtual hug. So much to consider, isn't there? Hey, there you go. So we've got a little bit of that grey going on, haven't we? That's nice. Right, so now we've done that. Now let's have a closer look at this one. Let's focus on this one and then we'll know where we're headed. Right, so let's get in close. Can you see, if you look up close, can you see what we're doing? <laughs> Right, so what we want to do first is get our blue. Which blue are you going to go for? You decide first for a minute while I just... Uh, it's the time. Right. Excuse me. So we're going to go... I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to... What we're going to do is make little... Little feathery strokes. Did you, did you do the um, the owls with me? Then perhaps you'll remember this. We did we did these little feathery strokes that we went that way and then we went that way, just like little cross hatches. They almost look like little like trees. So what we'll do is along the actual line that we've got in the in the in the postcard, we're going to go all the way down, really lightly. Get a good sharp, get a good sharp pencil. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> right, good sharp pencil. That's it. And then lightly, lightly, lightly. And then go the other way, across the line, almost like crossing. Right, and then Make sure that it's it's sharp though, so that you get a good little flick. There we are. Okay. Right, flick, 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 flick. All the way down. So you get some nice bright blue going on as well. Can you see this okay? There we are. Well, so the other thing I've got to do tomorrow, believe it or not, we've just come off TV, but we've got a really busy TV schedule next week. Next Friday, I've got mixed media shows, which are going to be fun, on Hochanda. That'd be good. And then on the Sunday, oh yeah, that'd be nice. On the Sunday, I've got uh, two hours in the afternoon, two to four. And then at six o'clock in the evening, we're going again. So we've got loads of TV shows to prepare for. That's the gig, that's the gig, the gig here. So I've got to kind of get ahead of myself a little bit. So I thought I'd, this afternoon, I'm going to have a look at the, um, the mixed media stuff and have a look at that and get ahead of myself. I think, I think, I think, what the hell? I think that, um, 
it calms me down if I'm more prepared. I can't, I, I'm not in a place to wing it nowadays. I have to know what I'm doing when I go on telly. I've never been in a place to wing it. I've always been uber prepared for TV. Um, just gives you more. I don't, it makes you less anxious. There you go. Just makes you less anxious. Right, so now I've done the blue, yeah? Just, I'll show you, let's have a look. See if you can see it up close. So you see it in stages. This is a great lesson. This is a great lesson in it's not over till it's done, okay? So, because it looks really ropey. It looks really ropey, but you build up, it's layers on layers on layers. So this is a really good lesson in in not not looking at it going, well that's rubbish. That's like taking that's like ta saying that a cake's rubbish and you haven't even put it in the oven yet. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is start at the top again and do the same again but with the black. So go back where the blue was and then lightly, lightly, just little black flicks, like that all the way down, gently does it, and then back the other way. You don't want to make it too heavy though, because it will look more like, it looks more like a Christmas tree. Look, just lightly, 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 like that. You don't want to make them look like fir branches. And then if you feel it's getting a bit blunt, just flick your, flick your pencil around or sharpen it, one or the other. Um, There we are, <laughs> and um, just build up those layers. So it's going to be darker up here. It's going to be darker underneath there, but you've got to build up the layers while you go. See, there you are. All good. Right, and then when you've done that all the way down, so there's no race. Just got to build it up gently. It'll look good when it's done. Here we are. There. So I think looks a bit ropey at the moment, but that's all right. Now we're going to go in and add a little bit of shade. So just like we did before up here, now what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll just start flicking down with the, just come down now and add a bit of shade underneath. Here we go. I'm using something to lean on so that I don't get, I, I don't smear the work as I'm going, see. So now we're just going to build up this layer here. And again, it goes to grey, to light, to dark grey, to darker grey, and then when you when you start building properly, it the layers it just goes to black. Eventually, it will go to black. But you build up the layers gently. There we are. You could do this with a pencil, couldn't you? Literally with an HB pencil if you didn't have any colouring pencils, eh? It's good to have your company anyway. Glad I'm not alone here. I spend a lot of time on my own. It's all right, I don't mind my own company. It's just as well, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking about people, you know, we, we, we have to walk a mile in a person's shoes before we can judge, you know. You know, all these people that I hear people saying, oh, you know, why are they going out? They should stay in. It's like, well, yeah, I guess. You don't know where they live. You don't know where they live. They might live in a tiny little flat on the fifth floor. Excuse me. They might live in a tiny little flat in a big high rise. They might not have a balcony. They might have two little children that are going berserk. They might, they might have a, a, an aggressive husband who's just lost his job. You, you know, you never know. You never know what's going on in a person's life. So I think we have to have a little bit of um, a care 
and 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 hold back on the judgment. You know, hold back on the judgment. Just live and let live, because you don't know. You got to you got to live. I caught myself the other day going, well, "Why are they all in the bloody park? What's wrong with them?" Why don't... And I thought, "Well, hang on a minute. You don't know where they live. You don't know what's going on in that woman's life with the two children in the park." She might have a really bad domestic situation, you know. And who are we to judge, eh? All we can do is do the right thing for ourselves. Just to put a little, this is starting to look really nice now. It's had a little bit of blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add a bit of blue in the background now. That will really, you wait, that gives it so much lovely depth when you just roll a bit of blue over the top of the, all the greys. Look, that's nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is what we're gonna keep flicking, flicking, flicking through and building up those layers. Let's have, a, let's have another look, because I haven't started the stippling on that one yet. But I will, see? But what I wanna do now is go to those top feathers Let's go back there and let's take this, this, the, the biggest selling, this is actually quite comical, like I said on Wednesday, these are the biggest selling things on the, on the website, on, um, on the Pergamano half price sale, them and the groovy tabs, those two things, <laughs> funny. But these are great. So you might even just want to get yourself some of the nibs, but new nibs. And the way they work, you see, you can use them with oil if you want to, or you can use them um, dry. And what we're going to do now, which one am I on? Oh, yeah, see, look, it's already coming together so nicely. But what I want to do is smooth it out because it looks quite gritty, grainy. Right. So what I want to do is go into the top area here and then smooth the grey out. And because I'm using the little nib, the tip, you can see it. it you push the pigment down into the area and it goes from being text sort of gritty, if you like, like a pencil. You know, like what a pencil looks like when you when you do it. And now when I come in like this, it will start to just smooth out amazingly look it's crazy good and what i'm doing now is you see i didn't have to put any gray down there because when you pull this through and you load the nib then look i'm going in the black area and i'm obviously loading the nib with with color with black and then as i bring it through it goes beautiful look i'll show you just flick it through. You don't have to press hard and it makes it really lovely and cloudy. Look, you can, like in this area here, now look, if I, if I take the colour, I can, it's like a little transplant, I can take it from up there and then I can bring it in there. Look, see? Pull it off the head here and then I can graft it down here. Cool, wouldn't that be easy? There you go. So you just pull the black from the solid black area here, anywhere you like, and then you can add shadow with it there. So it's interesting, isn't it, how you can you can move it around. But these are fantastic. To, I think these are one of the cleverest things we've come up with. And then, for example, on the blue, if you want it to be a little more muted, then all you do is you take that black and you can... You can tone down that blue so it's not quite so in your face. It looks a little bit too football shirty, doesn't it? See? And then you just just literally just brush over it lightly. Look, just go like that. And you're pushing the grey into the blue and it will tone it down really nicely. That's up to you though. If you if you like bright stripes, then leave them bright. Yeah. Looking good, isn't it? There we are. So, this is what we want to do. 
before we start next week. Are you up for staying? I'd like to stay with these and I'd really like to get that background done. I've got to do a little bit of prep on that though so I know where the bus is headed next week. So what I'd like you to do is finish up, if you, if you can, if you can't, don't worry, it's not, it's not important, right? Because we can do the background without the birds, you know, but if you've got time, then what would be lovely is once you smoothed out, see that's it, you do the smoothing first, right? You can use the back end as well. Then you can take your, your black pencil and then you come in and you just stipple away, okay? So you come in from the dark area and then you just stipple down into the light and it just gives it a lovely texture. Same down here and down here you can use, look I used lots of blue actually, I, I really went for it with the blue. Just cutting across, you can make shapes, you could do circles if you wanted to make the illusion of little circles. That'd be more of a peacock thing though, wouldn't it? Just lots of little, just adds texture really nicely as well. Look, there you go. Just dot, 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 dot. Hold the pencil upright like that. And you can go slowly if you've got more control or you can just, the longer you stay in one place, the darker it will get. So you just do that, maybe put a piece of um, bit of copy paper underneath and you may find that it's a bit softer, just gives it a bit of cushion, yeah, yeah it does, straight away, there you go, just dot 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 dot, we like this, <laughs> just keep telling you so we love it. So that is, that's it, now let me just check I think Stuart's going to tell us about the, yes, good, well done Stuart, the shack download, the groovy download as usual at 12pm. I know that Grace organised a competition in the Pergamano, um, in the Pergamano um, celebrations, there's been a competition regarding the shack downloads, so I think that that might be worth, I don't know if it's over yet, I know that Grace was looking at all the entries and compiling a really cool, um, see I'm lucky really because I work with Grace every day even though she's in New York, we're always FaceTiming, so that's quite cool, it's not quite cool, it's very very cool, you know, and, and I have to say that Mark, he FaceTimes every single week um, from San Francisco, so it's not like I don't hear from them or see them. Thank God for FaceTime, you know. We're lucky that we have that to keep us company. And I understand a lot of you don't see your children, so I, I empathise, I, I really empathise, and I'm sure you empathise with me too. So, so next week we'll, um, we'll continue colouring in together. Are you up for that? And then I think the week after, I'd like to do the, I'd like to get some doodling going, but I'd like to maybe try some white on dark, just to reverse it, see, it might be really fun, but I'm telling you now, if you, if you haven't got a Posca pen, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but I'm telling you, it makes such a difference, look, I'll, let me just show you, this is, for example, this is Glossy Clarity card, and that, okay, and this is normal stock, right? Let check these out, right? So this, oh, I need my other glasses on. So I just want to show you so that you get it. Why? Let me see if this works well. There we are, look. Okay, so. Shack. Yeah? Love. It hasn't warmed up yet. Hang on. Let's shake it. Let's warm it up. Let's give it a go. That's better. Right. Look, beautiful, right, that's on this sort of card. Right, let's try it on the shiny card. This is when you get to see if something's worth its metal. Oh yeah, oh wow, okay. Cool, it really glides. Okay, let's have a look at the fat one. 
I don't want... If you've got them, you'll know anyway. If you haven't got them, you'll want to know. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay. So you need the fat one when we're colouring in. Because you don't want to waste, yeah? So you need the fat one when we're colouring in. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, this fat one has got two ends. So you pull this piece out and you... Ref there's a thinner and a fatter nib in, in this one, but it's not as thin as that. It's just for filling in, for the infill. This is great. There you go. Yeah, get them, because they are difficult to come by. Ask Paul Church. <laughs> He'll let you know. Um, yeah, so, but that's not next week. That's the week after. So you've got plenty of time to get hold of them. And, uh, and next week, we're going to go to the two cans again. So I hope that you have a fabulous weekend. Um, enjoy. And um, Stuart, thank you for your help. Uh, be safe. Be safe. Uh, take it one day at a time. It's the only way forward, isn't it? And, um, and I'm sorry I had my little hiccup there. Didn't see it coming. Hit me from the side when my defences were down. It's the way it is. We're human. All right, lots of love. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye now.